Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and we got to talk about how Little Skies went from small town to blowing up. We're going to talk about those humble beginnings, but also an important piece that I don't really see covered too many other places. Now let's hop into it. Now first, Lil Skies has been doing this for a good amount of time. I mean a while. His dad, Skies, was a rapper. He's one of those little names that actually make sense because he's a little version of his dad. They actually used to have a mixtape together, or they actually did a mixtape together that was a father-son mixtape that you can still find on that piff to this day. His dad was pretty much the reason that he got into the game. I'm not gonna go too deep into that era, but if you fast forward to 2015, when he first got his SoundCloud account and his YouTube, that's when he really started to make traction in the new, more recent evolution of how Lil Skies is as you know him. Lonely was the very first video that he dropped on YouTube. He was getting traction by himself on YouTube and SoundCloud, but it wasn't really until 2017 when he got some Cuffboy shout outs that he really started to make some traction. As a matter of fact, one of the headlines for the YouTube videos on Cuffboys reads, Lil Skies and Landon Cube are up next. With two exclamation points, I might add. That's how you know it's serious. So it's great that Lil Skies had this foundation and all, but when you have a YouTuber who's giving you good shout outs and he was featuring in quite a few of the videos, that's when you really start to see some extra views and it makes sense. And even better for him, which also makes the situation make more sense, is he's from Waynesboro, Pennsylvania, less than two hours away-ish, is Maryland, which is where the Cuff Boys YouTube runner is, Cam Holler, Cam Haler, I forget how to actually pronounce his name, which reminds me that one of you guys' best bets of finding a YouTuber to collaborate with that has a strong following is if you happen to be able to find a YouTuber who is really killing the game, but is not in LA yet, because once they in LA a lot of these youtubers get lost in the LA sauce and it's a whole nother game they're distracted they're big time they're thinking too business like it just becomes a harder and different game at times if you're not already in that world so I encourage you to find somebody who is in your area if possible but it's hard I find people all the time that aren't too far from me well, I wouldn't say all the time every once in a while I find people and I'm like yo I never heard of this person and then it turns out my homeboy went to school with him and they already have 3 million followers and for some reason I never came across them. But back to Lil Skies, you fast forward a little bit and Red Roses blows up on Lyrical Lemonade. Now, getting connected with Cole Bennett, I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but you can already imagine and you already know what happened when you can think about the sound that he actually has, it being dropped on Lyrical Lemonade, the perfect demographic for him the rest is pretty much history so far. There's quite a few adventures with him and Cole Bennett and making the future videos happen that you can actually read about, find videos about, but a lot of people know about that period. So I'll let you guys check out other articles and videos from there. Other than that, I just wanna know you guys' comments really on the YouTuber portion of Lil Sky's rise. And as a matter of fact, even that early on period when he was with his dad, do you think it's kind of an advantage or just cool and helpful to have a parent who's that supportive of your career because I know some of you guys have parents <laughs> that don't want you to rap at all but other than that if you like this video go ahead hit that like button if you like you might as well share it and if you're not subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe button